Hey everybody, long time no see. Sue's here back with another keto cooking video. This week, I'm so excited, I tried an adaption of a recipe from America's Test Kitchen. Of course, I will I've list the ingredients for this recipe because we adapted it down below. And then I'll also put a link to their cookbook. Uh, this was inspired by their recipe out of their Easy Everyday Keto Cookbook. Oh my goodness, so, 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 so good so easy and quick to throw together if you're not already subscribed to our channel go ahead and click that subscribe button we make keto cooking videos uh every couple of weeks now sometimes weekly let's go ahead and get into it I wanna catch the way. so to get started with this recipe it called for one english cucumber i don't think this is an english cucumber but it was the closest one that they gave me when they subbed it out it definitely is long and narrow but not as long as a typical english cucumber i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends off of this and slice it down i'm gonna stick this other end off to the side for the kids and just use these four chunks to make enough for just my husband and i a serving of this dish and i'm gonna cut each of these in half and this is to make the smashed cucumber salad and i have never prepared cucumbers like this before and uh, now that i have i'm definitely going to be doing it more often i went ahead and pinched up about a tablespoon or two of uh, fresh basil and i'm just finally chopping that up And then just grabbing a storage bag or freezer bag, I am plopping all of our cucumbers into it. I'm gonna sprinkle this with about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of sea salt and kind of jiggle it around to make sure all of our cucumbers are covered. This is gonna help draw out the excess uh, liquid out of our cucumbers. And after I have those in there, I'm just sealing our bag up, giving them a good shake and toss around just so our salt is evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let the air back out of our bag so we can smash these cucumbers. Grabbing a mallet for this. Uh, it's just a mallet on one side, a meat tenderizer on the other, and I'm just gonna use the smooth side to kind of give a little crack to each one of these cucumber chunks. And then I'm just gonna sit this whole thing to the side and let it work its magic while we work on the rest of our meal. Now grabbing a medium mixing bowl, I'm adding a half of a tablespoon of low sodium, low sodium, low sodium soy sauce to that, and two teaspoons of rice vinegar, and always make sure with your rice vinegar that it's just rice and not any extra carbs hidden in there. One teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then I'm just whisking this all together. Now, I forgot to add sesame seeds at this point. We'll add them in later. But the original recipe, they also waited to put the basil in until the end. But I said, what the heck? We're going to go ahead and toss that in there and let those flavors go ahead and marry together some while we work on our steak. So, sticking that to the side, I'm grabbing a pack of New York strip steak. Now, this recipe calls for just preparing... Uh, one, I think, 12 ounce steak, and they trim theirs and do all of that fanciness that uh, you can buy the book and check it out if you want to. But we've been trying to cut back on beef lately, so we are going to split this steak and uh, going ahead and just getting all of the excess moisture off of it with a paper towel so it will brown up nicely. And I usually cook my steaks either on a grill or in a cast iron, but I'm just going to use a non-stick frying pan for this one. So I know people are going to come at me for that, but you use what you want and prepare your steak the way you want to. Just putting a little bit of sea salt on each side of it, rubbing it in. And I uh, didn't have my pepper grinder and didn't want to get it on the stool, so just some pre-ground black pepper here also and I know people uh, don't like that either sometimes but you use what you got if you don't want to get on a stool don't do it moving over to the stove top over on a medium high heat I'm just adding a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil and once it's nice and hot I put my steak straight down into the pan and cooked it undisturbed for three minutes on this side and three minutes was just probably one minute too long. Uh, this steak isn't as thick as the ones that I usually cook. So it did get more medium to mid well. 
in the middle than what I would like, but look at this nice, flavorful browning char on the outside of the steak. Ah, that's where the flavor happens. Mm, especially if you leave the fat on it. So after it cooks for another three minutes on this side, I just went ahead and removed it to the clean side of my cutting board. Make sure you don't do any cross contamination there. And I'm gonna stick it to the side and just let it rest while we finish our cucumbers. Now grabbing the bag that we put those in earlier, you can see all of that liquid that that salt has drawn out. I'm just gonna toss those in a colander, drain them grab our dressing mix that we put together and we're just gonna plop all of our cucumber chunks in there. Realized at this time that I had indeed left out the sesame seeds. And so I'm just kind of eyeballing that and adding about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sesame seeds right on top in there and my spatula. And we're just gonna toss this around. It is so fragrant and gosh, this was like the right balance of acid with the vinegar and then the spiciness of the red pepper flakes, the freshness of the basil and the cucumber. A uh, really excellent way to throw together a low carb side and eat cucumbers if you're a fan. After we have that tossed together, we're just gonna carve up our steak. Oh, my bad. After we have that tossed together, I melted uh, a tablespoon or two of butter in the microwave and then I just let it cool slightly so that it would mix better and added about a half a tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce to it as well and I'm just mixing that together and I'm gonna sprinkle this drizzle this I'm gonna top my steak with it coming back over to our steak we are just carving this up and I will just plate this between the two of us again you can just use this basic uh, recipe here to throw together however many steaks or cucumbers you would like but uh i just i really enjoyed it and i'm really enjoying this cookbook so i just wanted to share it with y'all here it is plated up uh the steak looks a lot better here because this is my plate and i pretty much picked out most of those more medium pieces um because my husband will eat the steak any anyhow anyway and I gotta have a significant amount of pink in my steak you know I usually like it more mid rare to rare um, than medium but here you go sprinkled it with a little of that soy butter so delicious and these cucumbers were so on point so again I will list the ingredients of how I adapted it down below and I will also give you a link to uh, this cookbook America's Test Kitchen Everything they do is excellent. So, of course, they do keto excellent, too. Hope to see you next week. Might not see you for two weeks. Um, thank you so much for continuing to support us and watch our videos. Been really busy starting new jobs around here. Juggling some home renovation projects. I just got done laying some tile this weekend. And so, you know, life. We're, we're busy, busy folks. I always love making videos for y'all. And I love it when you comment and interact with me. So... I do hope to be back soon, but just a heads up if I'm not, that's where I'm at, doing life. All right, bye y'all.